Okay, it's now about uh, 11.47. I believe that's what 22 means, so. Um, I was just uh, over here taking all this shit apart. Didn't even realize these ever came with like little courses or whatever, but this one did. <laughs> but I was, uh, I was moving these out of there because I'm going to put them in my, uh, my paint bucket with all the other paint tubes. And I picked this one up and I thought, hmm, that one feels awful light. It was new. <laughs> like, it hadn't been opened. So I was like, that feels fucking light. I opened it. Yeah, it is. It's empty. What the fuck? <laughs> it's straight up empty. It was still sealed and empty. <laughs> what the hell? I think, uh, the manufacturer must have fucked up there. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because it's just acrylic. But I have tons of acrylic. don't really like it, but... It's just like, wow, okay. I was apparently gypped. This water color. This is a watercolor, too. I thought all these were acrylics. That was some more watercolor. Okay, my bad. Oh, that one's oil. Okay, well. Anyway, I'm about to sh sort them, I guess, but. <laughs> Still, it was fucking empty. Like, what the hell? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Also, I was just, uh. Over here testing out pens to see which ones I wanted to keep, and I kept most of them. <laughs> These ones over here are the ones that I'm going to get rid of. I think I'm going to just throw some of those away because they're really old and about dead. But I, not, I found some colored pencils. These ones. They're obviously not great, but I also have some Prismacolors, but not a whole lot. I only have like 12 of the Prismacolors. And they're new, obviously, because they're not been pencil sharpened yet. But at least I have some uh, uh, colored pencils. So I have those too, which you know, I'm not going to use over too much, so hopefully they're not that bad. There's also, I can't get this to open, I can't get it to open without both hands. <laughs> so there's these. I assume those are watercolors. And, though I don't know, they sh it's like they have watercolor in tubes, so why would they also have watercolor in that? Though it doesn't tell me, so. And these I assume are either, I think they're oil pastels, they feel like oil pastels, so. That's kind of cool. I like oil pastels. Yeah, this is one of those Art 101 bullshit boxes, but I've had it forever. And apparently it's slightly more advanced than some of the ones, so. Unleashing artists within. Oh, go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, back to, uh, whatever I'm doing here. <laughs> Alright, uh, good morning, I guess. Well, it's almost noon, so. But it is, uh, Wednesday the 6th. And I went out to the old studio at the UA building to get this chonker because I need to sharpen pencils and it takes a thousand years to sharpen a new pencil with a manual pencil sharpener so this guy sharpens in like under three seconds or some bullshit like that but uh yeah I need to find a place to plug it in though because it's a pretty heavy duty thing which means it probably needs its own plug but I don't maybe I can get away with an extension cord I'm unsure but <laughs> That's what I'm going to do in a minute, and I also have to rearrange all this other crap because I took all the art supplies out of that box, that guy down there, and uh, I'm going to get rid of that box probably. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the oil pastels, but the color pencils are going with the other color pencils, and then the paints are going in the paint bin, which is that guy over there. And uh, otherwise I'm going to work on the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas thing I think today. That would be for mostly it once I sharpen like every pencil on the face of the earth. Listed a couple things on Facebook Marketplace that I need to get rid of. And uh, I have to also take the trash out, which means I got to clean the bird's cage today, I think. So I might do that later. But right now, I'm just going to watch YouTube and work on cleaning up a little more in here. I wanted to see if this thing still worked because it's like a wireless pencil sharper, a little tiny one. It takes batteries. But uh, it sort of works. It like. You have to put it at the exact right level if you put a pencil in it. It has to be the correct level, because if you push it in too far, then it stops. So, but it works. It's just very slow. It would be okay for sharpening pencils, not so much for uh, sharpening ones that are new. So, <laughs> so I had to fish out my big ass pencil sharper. Gotta find a home board, I think maybe over there or something, but... Anyway, I'm going to go, because my battery's not dying. <laughs> and uh, work on some organization and then some art.
almost afternoon. I think it is technically afternoon because it's 12.40. But it is uh, September 8th, which is a Friday. I, uh, my neck hurts pretty bad today, so I don't know how much I'm going to actually get done. Um, it's probably fibro wants to kill me as usual. Also, I turned down the operating volume on this. Not like operating, but like recording audio. So I want to see if that's any, uh, consolation. I don't know what the difference would be, so I'm messing with it. But, uh, yeah, so it might be quieter. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I think I'm going to work on the, uh, marker thing today a little bit. I need to move that guy. Because the only problem with this table is that before I could put the, uh, printer door down on the other one, <laughs> because it was slightly taller. So yeah, this one doesn't work that way, which means I'm going to have to move my printer. Um, I think I'm going to put it over here and move that over there. Um, because it'll fit here well enough, I think, and that's sturdy enough for it. So yeah, it's heavy as hell, so I've been putting it off. <laughs> but I need to, because otherwise I can't use it where it is. Also, I looked it up. Damn thing is 43 pounds. <laughs> it's no wonder I always thought it was so freaking ridiculously heavy. It's because it is freaking ridiculously heavy. Who the hell makes a printer that's 43 pounds? Apparently Canon. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna have to move it over there, which uh, is going to be a chore. Uh, and then I have to find something for that because this, this table here is too low. Um, for it to work comfortably over the table or whatever. So, um, I got something from Bat and Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond because they said I had $20 in credit. So I bought something. It's like a little, like, metal, like, shelf stand thing. It might be tall enough to put the cricket on top of, and then it should be hopefully more flush with the, uh, table. At least that's the, uh, goal. But I'm going to uh, have my hot cocoa and then probably move those things and then maybe work on the marker shit. I don't know. My neck hurts. <laughs> and my battery's dying. But <laughs> I think I'm going to do that for a minute and then rearrange and maybe work on the marker shit. I have another batch I have to work on uh, for the combat exchange, which I might sketch out. I don't know. We'll see. Then I might just saw a canvas. I don't know. But we'll see. So <laughs> I will see you guys in a bit. It is now 16.01, which is 4 o'clock. <laughs> There's Mumbles. Hi, Mumbles. Hello. <laughs> Just out here taking pictures of Mumbles and also the baby ducks trying to get reference material. Easier said than done. <laughs> Especially with the ducks because they're behind that damn screen shit over there. See, they're in the uh, baby pen, which other than getting down view, you can't really do too much with. Love that for me, but my neck still really hurts, so I'm gonna go lay down or sit down for a while and use my eating pad. So. Okay, it is now Saturday at uh, 8 o'clock-ish, and I got that thing. It sits there nice, except it's still a little, you know, cramped there, so I might just move this, like, on top of that guy down there. Put the shelf over, over the foil machine, because then that would work better. And I don't even use a foil machine that often, so I think it would work down there, and then I could just put whatever here, like, maybe shelves or something. So, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go uh, chill, though. I did finish. Oh, the air conditioner keeps trying, come on. But I did finish this. There's that. 
quite cool. I'm gonna put it in my weird metal thing. But yeah. I gotta scan it and stuff still, but yeah. Pretty neat. Good morning, technically, I guess, since it's 11 still. But it is now Sunday. It is the 10th. Waiting on this thing to upload some images to coffee. I went to add some stuff to my coffee shop and realized some of the images, for some ungodly reason, decided to upload sideways. Because <laughs> apparently the metadata is fucked up or some shit. And uh, so I had to go and resave the images as pings and that seems to have fixed the weird orientation problem. So I was doing that for the ones that I already uploaded because I had uploaded several before I realized that they were sideways. And so I'm fixing those and then adding some more shit from my other shop uh, because I realized I didn't have everything. Because like I can't put copyright shit on coffee, but I have a lot of stuff that's not copyright shit. So like the Pokemon crap and that kind of thing couldn't go on coffee there on my regular shop on my website, but I can put all the other stuff on coffee, so that's what I've been doing. Otherwise, I've just been having my coffee is a uh, pumpkin spice, because I got that yesterday. Pumpkin spice coffee with pumpkin spice, spice coffee creamer, so I'm enjoying that. My shoulder and neck have been driving me crazy, and I don't know, I think I injured my shoulder. It's hard to tell, because like it could either be fibromyalgia or it could be... <laughs> my shoulder actually just being injured so yeah but it's been like two months better better that my shoulder's been hurt okay i turned off the air conditioner because it started being quite loud <laughs> it was just running the fan a minute ago but now it, then it started doing its worrying death thing so yeah anyway um i was talking about my shoulder i um i'm pretty sure i injured it when i took cell's shit back to her from the basement it's just never gotten better because my fire browser doesn't let shit heal even so so just overall not the best. I hope that the metadata is correct for these other ones. Cause like I can't tell unless I upload them <laughs> and then they show up sideways. It's quite irritating. But that's what I've been doing this morning. And uh, I only meant to get on here to do something really quick I believe, but I don't remember, remember what that was. And then I got sidetracked with this coffee thing. So uh, I've been, I was on here mostly to uh, check the cozy gone thing because that's coming up next weekend. It starts the 16th, I think. Which means it'll be after the next vlog. Lovely. <laughs> That's why you should go follow my social media. Uh, the only thing I use now is Facebook, Instagram, Blue Sky, and Threads. I have abandoned Twitter with all haste, so avoid Twitter. I don't know if I updated my shit, like my links, but it is Sunday, which means I don't technically have to do anything per se, but I might work on the combat exchange badge. Um, and also the last the last uh, sticker for Skunk, because I owe him one more. I did one, and then totally got sidetracked. And I owe him one more, um, because he gets one a month. I got the decal for uh, Kirchen uh, back from the mail, because apparently I did the... Uh... See, my brain is just not working today. <laughs> the... what is it? The customs form. <laughs> I did the customs form wrong. So I got that back, which is wonderful. Also, can you believe it's $16 for a 1.7 ounce package to Germany? So, that's wonderful. I would hate to fucking mail anything of substantialness, though. Technically, this is, I want to say it's half an ounce. And it's $20. <laughs> but it has, it's supposed to go to uh, Australia. So apparently Australia is even more expensive. $20 and it's half an ounce. It's the smallest fucking thing and it's $20. I would hate to say anything large to anywhere <laughs> at this point. Because <laughs> the fucking mail prices have gotten absolutely ridiculous. But anyway. <laughs> Enough rambling. It's been 10 minutes and I've been rambling. So I'm going to continue doing this and then maybe get into something more creative because admin stuff is not fun. But it, And it takes me forever. Because things like this, the stupid orientation, it takes me forever. So <laughs> anyway. I will see you guys in a bit.
<laughs> You're disturbing us. Fuck off, Goodwill. <laughs> Y'all are spicy criminals. <laughs> Cute little duckers in the pool. Little pool duckers. Located to the pool. And they have a Hawaiian punch. <laughs> That's their little water cup and jug. Water cup jug. Now there's fucking 11. 11 here. 5 in the bathroom. 3 outside. We have too many goddamn ducks. <laughs> Good um, I guess. Afternoon. It is 12.24, so it's technically afternoon, I guess. I have to charge my watch. It's at 9%, so. It is Wednesday the 13th. I'm bad at this. I didn't, I don't think I did anything yesterday really. Well, I'm dicked around with my tattoo machine that's being a dickhead. This guy. He, uh, <laughs> it is deciding to give me issues, but I think I can get it to work. I don't know. <laughs> but it doesn't bode well for Dragonhawk, that's for sure. Hopefully not all their machines do this shit and it was just my bad luck, but who knows. Because I've never, I've used Dragonhawk for the first one, which worked fine, but it was cheap and loud. But this one is amazing, but it just straight up is being an asshole. So, so we will see, but it seems to be a charging issue. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't bode well for like all the machines and it was just my luck. I thought I bought it used, but I went back on eBay and it turns out it's, it was an open box. So it shouldn't have been that old or I had a problem with it, so I don't know. Maybe it was just... A factory problem and I got a bad one. I don't know. But anyway, I've been thinking with that, so not been doing everything much else. I did laminate the uh, Jack art um, with my 5mm because it doesn't really need 10mm. I think I'm going to make myself a badge so that I can use the 10mm because I haven't used the 10mm for since I got it. So we uh, successfully now have, I think it was, I think it's 19. 18 or 19 ducklings all together. So there's five in the bathtub, and then there's 11 in the doggy pool in the living room, and three outside. So <laughs> we have way too many. And I think there's another couple going to hatch in the incubator, too. And now my camera's dying. But I digress. Uh, it is Wednesday, which means I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, gotta take out the trash. I think I might work on that patch. I did sketch, uh, the preliminary thing for the badge for the con badge exchange. If you would let me in. I'm a fairy. There it is. I still gotta tweak it. I'm not completely happy with it yet, but getting there. Uh, that's just a sketch though, but I'm gonna print that out and make it in markers probably, like I normally do. I still need to sell all the fur out of my closet, which I keep forgetting to do, so. <laughs> this is pretty much healed, except um, this part here is a little bit eh. And then this part here, what? yeah, it's this part here that's a little faint. And then these two aren't really that great, but they were giving me issues. This one mostly. So this one hurt a lot, because <laughs> it's right there on the bone. So it's fairly faint, but that's why t touching up is a thing. This one is very good now, see, because I touched it up. <laughs> So I just have to wait for it to heal all the way and then touch it up, which doesn't take too long, so I'm glad for that ability because it would really not be fun if I had to go back to an actual tattoo artist. So I could do it myself, but that's beside the point. Uh, I think I'm going to make myself some cocoa, maybe clean up, I don't know. Um, I definitely need to sell the fur so that I can recoup some of this loss of money. <laughs> We have to give puppy shots today because they're going to the vet tomorrow, I think. So they get their vaccines today. And yeah. Okay, that was really weird. I almost had a heart attack there for a second. Because, like, I was recording and then my lovely camera went black, but it didn't, like, turn off. Because it was, like, still open and on. 
but it was black on the screen. I thought, I, I just had a heart attack almost. <laughs> I was like, God, no, please not this camera too. <laughs> because heaven knows I would never be able to replace this camera. It's fucking expensive. <sighs> so anyway, I didn't get any of that footage though because then, it, then the thing came back on and said that it couldn't, like it didn't record to the SD card and it wanted to recover data. And then it was like something about erasing some other kind of data. I was like, just fuck it then, don't recover the data. So I just lost that clip, but <laughs> that was weird. I've never had to do that before. But I did like accidentally bumpish the SD card when I put the battery in, but I didn't think it hit that hard. I just turned the camera off and reinserted the SD card, like took it out and put it back in to, just to see if it would work and it seems to be okay now. At least I think. Because it seemed to be okay the first time, and it was recording, blah, 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 and then suddenly it went black. I was like, nope, you can't do this. I'm like, bitch, why? You just literally were doing it. And then it was like, no, you can't. I'm like, okay. Hopefully, if it's just a SD card, that's a pro that's not a problem, because I can get another one. That's easy. Those aren't that expensive. But hopefully it's not the camera, because that would be very, very problematic. <laughs> I might have to use my phone, because I broke. Like, a real broke, broke, broke. And I can't replace this, like, $800 camera. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I love that for me, and hopefully it doesn't do it again. Because I, you know, I think I fixed it, but... Lost that whole clip that I did. I don't even remember what I talked about. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to wake up for more, because it might be 12.30, but I am just exhausted as hell. Didn't sleep for the shit, as usual, so... We'll see you guys later. Hopefully this camera doesn't do that shit again, though, so... We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is now Thursday, which means I got to, uh edit the vlog, but uh, mom bought a bunch of books from this like discount book place, and they sent her a completely wrong box. <laughs> this has a bunch of fucking Christian books in it. Oh god, the horror. Yeah, nobody likes these. <laughs> They're even from Texas. The guy that ordered them was from fucking Texas. Like, what, what in the spicy shit? I don't know how I got here, but uh, we're gonna sell them. Because, <laughs> you know, they're rando books, and the Christians are nuts, so they probably buy them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing is taking pictures of those and selling them because fuck that shit. <laughs> Plus, I can do media mail, which is a lot cheaper in shipping, too. So. But yeah, otherwise, I gotta edit the vlog. And I'm expecting Amazon today, so we will hopefully get that. And I gotta do puppy shots. And then the puppies have to go to the vet at like 2 o'clock, so I'm gonna do that, too. Otherwise, the usual shit. And uh, I might find a place to hang that uh, um, Jack Skellington thing. But otherwise, I will uh, end the vlog here. So I will see you. Um, how do I do this? <laughs> My brain just stopped. If you're new here, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything, like, comment, share with your friends, and as always, I love you, stay fluffy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.